here's an ultrasound of the scrotum on a patient with left testicular pain. Now, the most important image on a scrotal ultrasound is probably this one, where the technologist has shown the two testicles side by side on two separate frames, which are captured on a single image. And the purpose of this is to compare uh, the two testicles, particularly the vascularity, uh, because that's essentially the most important reason for doing a scrotal ultrasound to determine whether the flow to, the te to, the, to each testicle is preserved or whether there's interruption of flow, as in the case of testicular torsion, or an increase in flow, as in the case of acute inflammatory conditions such as epididymal orchitis. So if we look at this scan, the, the right testicle shows a normal pattern of vascularity. Uh, and if you use this as the benchmark, the left testicle is obviously hyperemic and hypervascular. And in addition, we also see that there is a hydrocele, which is somewhat complex. It has internal echoes and septations. And the epididymis itself, which is this uh, area over here, is also enlarged and hyperemic. So as we scroll through the images, we see that the left testicle lights up like a light bulb because of hypervascularity and hyperemia. And the left epididymis is similarly thickened and hyperemic. And there is a complex left hydrocele, which indicates that this is an infectious or inflammatory process. And this is, in fact, acute epididymal orchitis. Now, one of the important things to remember is that there is a differential diagnosis for this appearance of the hypervascular and hyperemic testicle and epididymis. And that is the situation where the testicle undergoes torsion and then spontaneous detorsion. Uh, so that what we're seeing is an increase in perfusion to the testicle after it is released from its torus state where the vascularity was compromised. So it's sort of a luxury perfusion state. Uh, so it is possible to mistake one for the other sonographically. So the important question to ask the clinician when one sees a picture like this is a very simple question. The question is, has the pain improved or has it been constant? And the reason for asking that question is that in patients with epididymal orchitis, the pain will remain constant or possibly even get worse, whereas in patients with intermittent torsion, detorsion, or spontaneous detorsion, the pain will go away or improve. And the hypervascular appearance actually correlates with resolution of pain and return of flow to what was previously an ischemic testicle. So asking that question to the clinician is extremely important in the setting of a hyperemic and hypervascular testicle and epididymis. Thank you.